Alrighty guys, what is going on? Diamond Biscuits here, and welcome back to a brand new video. Welcome back, the new year has happened. Hope you guys all had a great new year. I took a little break myself, just spent some time with the family, relaxed a little bit, played a little bit of Call of Duty here and there. Now I'm ready to be back and better than ever this year. We're gonna have an amazing year. And for my first video of the year, we're gonna be doing the best class setup for the Bullfrog. And for the gameplay you're gonna be seeing, I did pretty well. I went on three separate 15 kill streaks. I can never get the nuke, man, I don't know. The highest I've ever gotten in this game is a 20, and that's it. That's where my luck ends. I went on a, I went on three separate 15 kill streaks. I can't do it in a row though for some reason. I don't know. And yeah, let's just hop right into it. So the bullfrog, like I always say, it's a great gun. It's an amazing gun. It's just an ugly gun. And I'm gonna be using my expertise with this gun that I got from getting this thing gold to tell you guys what the best class setup is, in my opinion. So first things first, we're gonna come all the way down here to the stock. And personally, I think the best stock is this last stock right here, the KGB Skeletal Stock. Like I always say, sprint to fire time, one of the most important things you can have on a weapon. That's how fast your gun pulls up when you're running. And this one gives us the best increase to our sprint to fire time. Aim walking movement speed, that's just a bonus. And on top of all that, it's a sick looking stock. It looks sexy. Minus 30% of our hip fire accuracy, no big deal. In this game, you don't want to hip fire anyways. The hip fire is atrocious. And this game rewards aiming so much. If you have good aim, you're going to do well in this game. You don't want to be hip firing unless you absolutely have to. So that's why I don't mind having the minus 30% to our hip fire. Next, we're going to go to the handle. And a lot of these handles are really good. They give us really quick aim down sight time. But they decrease our sprint to fire time. And that's not what I want. For me personally, sprint to fire time is way more important than aim down sight speed time. So I like to go with the speed tape. The speed tape gives us a 10% bonus to our aim down sight time with no negatives. Next, we're going to come up here to the magazine. And we got a lot of interesting magazines to choose from. But once again... Again, I just like to go with this top one here, the 65 round mag. Gives us 15 extra bullets in our mag. Makes us reload slightly slower, no big deal. You already have 50 rounds of this gun. This gun has the biggest ammo count for all the SMGs. And let's make it even bigger with the ammo because you can never have enough ammo in this game. People take quite a bit of bullets to kill somebody. And I like to just run around and shoot people and not have to worry about reloading. And with the 65 round, with the 65 round mag, we can do that. All the other magazines are cool, but like this bottom one, decreases our aim down sight speed. We don't want that. And a lot of the other benefits just are not that great. Reload quickness, I would rather have 15 extra bullets than reload quicker. Next up, we're going to be equipping an underbarrel. So we have a lot of good barrels here. The bullfrog does not have that crazy amount of recoil. I have no problem shooting straight with this gun, but that's not even what we're going to focus on here. With an SMG, I like to run and gun and go crazy and just run around and shoot people and not stop sprinting around corners and sliding and just jumping and going crazy. So for me, the speed grip is by far the way to go. We get 10% extra moving speed, and if you don't know, the only way to increase your moving speed in this game is to use the attachments. SMGs, shotguns, melee weapons, pistols, they all have the same sprint moving speed. So that's as fast as you can run, and the only way to increase that is by adding one of these attachments. And on the SMGs, this attachment right here gives you the most sprinting movement speed. We also get 15% to our horizontal recoil, and if I had to pick one that I wanted to have recoil control for, I would pick horizontal, because vertical is a lot easier to control. All you have to do is pull down on your stick a little bit as you're shooting. But horizontal though, that's way harder to counter for. So that plus 15% to our horizontal recoil control, that's always welcome. Our movement speed, our shooting movement speed, and our aim walking movement speed. Aim walking movement speed, not a big deal because we got that fixed with our stock. Movement speed, who cares? Who cares how fast you're going when you're just walking? And shooting movement speed, it's not really a big deal. Like I said, sprinting movement speed, that's when you really want to be fast. Who wants to be fast when they're just walking? Nobody. You, you'll sprint if you want to be fast. And so that's why I go with the speed grip. The other grips here, like I said, no real reason to. By far the best grip. And last but not least, we're going to go with the barrel. We have a lot of options here. We got four different options, but we're going to go with the barrel. And bullet velocity, once again, is one of the most important stats on a weapon. That's how fast your bullet travels to the enemy when you're shooting. If you have a low bullet velocity, it's going to feel like you're shooting paintballs rather than real bullets. The bullet's going to take a slow travel path, and you're going to have to aim kind of ahead, depending on how far away you are. So we're going to increase our bullet velocity by 100%. And once again, I think this is by far the best barrel attachment. The task force, I see a lot of people running that. That's pretty good. But I just don't really notice the damage. Plus 3% damage per bullet. It doesn't honestly feel like it makes a difference to me. And we only get 75% bullet velocity, 50% effective damage range. I would rather have bullet velocity over damage range any day of the week. Because who cares how far you can shoot if the bullets are slow getting there. And all the other barrels are just not, not good. And there you have it, folks. 
here is our bison. Let's go ahead and make it sexy with the gold camo. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful gun. With gold camo on anyways. Without gold camo, it's kind of eh. Now a lot of people will be asking, can you run a suppressor? And a lot of people like to run suppressors, but for me, I tried it out. I gave it multiple games. It just makes the gun too weak. It feels like I'm shooting marshmallows out. I don't know how other people use this. I just felt like my gun was way too weak. I couldn't kill people as fast as I usually could. And it only increases your effective damage range but by 15%, but I feel like, I don't know, it just feels like a harder cut than that. I don't know. But if you want to run a suppressor, go ahead and run a suppressor. It's not going to hurt my feelings. If you have to run a suppressor though, go ahead and take off the magazine because instead of having 65 bullets, you'll still have 50, which is a heck of a lot. Same goes for an optic. If you have to run an optic, just take the ammunition off and only have 50 bullets. Boo hoo, you only have 50 bullets. But I personally don't like to run optics on my subs because I just feel like it zooms in too much to aim. And there you have it folks. Here is the best bullfrog class setup, in my opinion. This is what I found out worked the best. Let me go over here to attachment so you can see. This is what I found out worked the best while getting gold camo. Here's the barrel, the liberator barrel, the speed grip under barrel, the 65 round ammo, the speed tape, and the KGB skeletal stock. This is a short little straight to the point class setup. I hope you guys did enjoy. Over the break, I got a lot of guns close to gold, so you're going to be seeing a lot more videos from me consistently. I hope you enjoy that. We've been growing a lot too, like crazy. I don't know. My best spaz class setup video just blew up for some reason. And I gained like 50 subs. And it's been amazing. I hope you guys stick around and love the content. If you do, a rating is always appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>